Hey what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the British Royal Class 802. So this is manufactured by Hitachi Rail Europe, and this is the Trans Pennine Express, which is in the UK, and this is actually a commission by Flaming Network 2190, so thanks to him. We're making this video possible, so I have um, a 5 car train set right here. At the ends there are the end cars, and then we have 3 intermediate cars, which are all the same. And here's what it looks like. Here is the raised pantograph, and the back, the pantograph is lowered. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. And uh, this is going to be a four block wide train on the standard gauge track, so it's going to be leaning towards one side. Just be aware of that. So go right above the tracks, two blocks above the tracks, two blocks wide, great concrete. And then we're going to make it 39 blocks long, so one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 7, 7, 2, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And then we're going to fill that in all the way back towards the front. All right. And then in the front, we're going to have another brick uh, slabs on the front row on top. Behind that, two blocks of gray concrete with uh, another brick slabs on top of that as well. Then we're going to go add a black stained glass block, two blocks like that. Go diagonally up and add a two by two, like so. So next, we're going to take prismarine brick stairs, add to the side of this gray concrete. And you want to make sure that's facing upright. And underneath it, we're going to add a light blue concrete. And we're going to go up diagonally two blocks. And make the last one two blocks long like this. And same thing on the other side. Under it, make a three block diagonal with another one in the back. All right, so next we're going to take out uh, gray concrete. Add under here. Same thing on the other side. And we're also going to add another brick slabs, two blocks in the back, on top of that glass, and two another brick stairs face to the front after it, like so. And then we're going to add a prismarine brick slab here, other side, same thing, and a light blue concrete block here. And then we're going to take um, black stained glass block, add another one and light blue concrete again. Then we're gonna take a uh, gray concrete, add two blocks on top for the roof, and we're gonna go all the way back to the end of this car. So just go all the way back, make sure it lines up. Like that. And make it two blocks wide all the way across. All right, so next we're gonna take um, prismarine uh, brick slabs, add two on the sides like this. Same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna add um, iron trap door, two blocks in the middle right after the prismarine. And we wanna make sure that it is uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna add a two by two of dark oak wood trap door like so. All right, next we're gonna move down over here and add in uh, blue terracotta right there with a uh, dark oak wood stairs behind it, upside down. And we're gonna add four more behind that facing outwards. So one, two, three, four. Same thing on the other side. So blue terracotta and then stairs like so. And then next we're going to take stone brick slab and add two blocks on the side right here and two blocks in the middle diagonally forward. Same thing on the other side, like so. All right, so we're going to add in the wheels now. We're going to take cyan terracotta, add two blocks in the middle, and that is our first wheel. And one of the wheels is not going to touch the tracks. And then we're going to skip three blocks and add another pair of wheels. And the middle, we're going to take out um, stone brick stairs, have it facing right up, 
and the ones in the front and the back they're facing upside down so it looks like this and then we're going to add uh, hoppers to the sides of it and a dark oak wood fence gate right next to the hopper in the middle is going to be a single uh, stone brick slab so it looks like this same thing on the other side adding our stairs right side up in the middle upside down on the sides like so and I hope I'm doing this right I don't know all right then I'm going to add our hoppers some brick slab in the middle and dark oak wood fence gates now we're going to move on to the back and just skip two blocks away from the edge and add in our cyan terracotta wheels and the same thing like uh, stone brick stairs in the middle and then upside down on the sides same thing over here upside down on the sides and then we're going to add cyan terracotta right in front of it let's add hoppers to the sides of all the wheels and stone brick slab in the middle dark oak wood fence gates on the side of that and it's pretty much the same thing on the other side just repeat it and then next we're going to take out um, stone slab and add a 2x2 two two right behind it so next we're going to go up here and add in six stone slabs from the back one two three four five six and then four stone brick stairs one two three four same thing on the other side one two three four five six and then four stone brick slabs and then we're going to take a stone slab go all the way across to the front like so go to the other side do the same thing, filling it all in. And then we're going to take a uh, light blue wool and add two blocks right behind this one. And light blue concrete right behind that one. And then cyan terracotta. Same thing on the other side. Two light blue walls, light blue concrete, and cyan terracotta. And next we're going to add 8 light blue concretes right behind this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And add another one light blue underneath this first one. Same thing on the other side. And then behind that we're going to take um, blue concrete and let's add um, 8 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually it is 9 so make it 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so next let's add stone brick slabs underneath like this all the way across upside down for the floor. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All the way across. Alright, so once we finish this, which I'm doing really horrible at, uh, let's see what else we gotta do. Let's add a 3x3 three three of clay at the back. Right there for the wall, same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna add cyan terracotta right, right above it, like that, and I'm gonna add an iron door underneath. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go to the front and let's add in a light blue wool uh, right underneath the window. And we're going to go diagonally forward and add two light blue walls like that. Same thing on the other side. And let's add a gray concrete in this hole here and clay in the other hole. Clay in the front, gray concrete there. And down here let's add one clay block and then iron door like that. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to add three clays and another iron door. Same thing on the other side. Three clays at the bottom, iron door. And let's add a light blue concrete in this hole here that we made. Same thing on the other side. 
And let's add in this bottom row, which is just going to be clay all the way across, like so. Same thing on the other side, just a bunch of clay. And then next, we're going to have um, a 2x2 two two in front of the back door. Same thing on the other side. And I'm going to add clay in this remaining uh, top layer. So we're left with this middle layer, which we're going to add in the windows. So we're going to take block stained glass block. And we're going to add two blocks long. Skip one, add two, skip one, add two, skip one, add two, skip one, add two. And then we're going to add um, cyan terracotta in front of it and in between each of these windows. Same thing on the other side. And then next, uh, there will be, I think there's more windows on the side than the other side. Let me go check. Yes, there are. So we're going to add in, looks to be two more windows here on this side. Filling in the same exact pattern. The other side, the windows are closed. So that's why that is stone slabs instead. So we're going to take stone slab, make a double like that, skip a block, add two more in between um, sand terracotta. All right, next we're going to move on to the bottom row. So let's go to the back on this side. Uh, the other side is going to be a little bit different, so don't copy the same thing on the other side. So this side, we're going to add another brick slab here. And then we're going to add five stone brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. And then three nether brick slabs. And then stone brick slabs all the way across towards the front. And the other side is different. So let's go over there toward the back. And then we're going to add in um, three stone brick slabs, one, two, three, and then um, two nether brick slabs, one stone brick slab, one nether brick slab, and then eight uh, stone brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nether brick slab again. The rest should be uh, stone brick slabs all the way across. All right, cool. So we did the bottom. Now let's do the top. All right, so for the top, we're going to take Wither Skeleton Skull. It's sort of like make like this zigzag shape like that. Three skulls like that. And between the zigzags, we're going to add um, levers like this. And then right behind that, we're going to add uh, stone brick slabs. Let's add two blocks on this side. And then it's going to go down up slab. And then it's going to go down up goes the other way daggling up again and in front of that we're going to add three blocks wide of um, dark oak wood a trap door and actually never mind it's two blocks wide and then we're going to add dark oak wood fence gates on the side and open that up so this is the pantograph and then um, let's add in the gangway so we're going to fill this hole in two by three of gray concrete and on top, we're going to add two uh, stone brick slabs. Then let's add two by three, cobblestone wall. And underneath that, let's add in uh, two back to back uh, stone brick stairs. And then we're going to have uh, two nether brick fences on sides like, the, like this. So next, we're going to go in front of the pantograph. And let's add iron trap door right there in the middle, all the way across towards the front like this all the way across all right so then we're going to add in a um, sign right here right above this closed window the other side let's uh, add it right above that open window and yeah uh, the sign in this part it's behind that window same thing on the other side on this side, let's add a stone button right here, dark oak wood button underneath, and stone button down diagonally next to that door. And over here, there is a dark oak wood button right here in the middle between these two doors. Let's check the other side. Same thing over here, dark oak wood, dark oak wood button. And then the side stone button 
dark aqua button underneath, and then still button down diagonally. And there also is another button in the front, which is a birch wooden button underneath this uh, gray concrete. Same thing on the other side, like so. I'm going to add a stone button in the front for the headlights, like that. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to make the front car of the class uh, 802. Now let's make the intermediate car. All right, to make the intermediate car, we're going to take a uh, gray concrete at two blocks wide right behind the gangway. And let's make it 39 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Same thing on the other side all the way across. And next, we're going to add in... Let's add in the bottom part, so go down here, towards the front, I'm going to add a 2x2 two two of stone slab like that. Behind that, we're going to add in the wheels, so we're going to take uh, cyan terracotta, two blocks in the middle, and then we want to take out our stone brick stairs facing um, outwards like that, right side up in the middle, and then upside down on the sides of it, and then another pair of wheels same thing on the other side and it's pretty much the same exact wheel design that we did in the front so if you remember that you just follow that add hoppers to sides stone brick slabs in the middle and then dark oak wood fence gates on the side of that same thing on the other side and we're also going to add another um, bogey in the back just skip two blocks away from the edge Say on terracotta, and then we need to add in our stairs, like so. And then we need to add in the front pair of wheels, hoppers, stone bricks out of the middle, fence gates on the side. Same thing over here. All right, so next we're going to add seven upside down stone brick stairs on the side of the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And add it to all four corners of the car. And it practically lines up with like the front wheel like that of that bogey or like the innermost wheel. So you don't have to exactly count for that. Like so. And then we're going to add a 2 by 3 of gray concrete on the sides, right next to the gangway. Same thing on the other side. And then um, on the very top, we're going to extend it so it reaches all the way across for the roof area. Let's just go all the way across. And it should match up with the other roof. Getting close there. Alright, so once we do that, now we can take out. Um, actually, we <laughs> need. There, now we, we've done it. So now we can take out um, Iron Trap Door, skip two blocks in the front, add two Iron Trap Doors here, and then uh, two Dark Oak Wood. Actually, a two by two Dark Oak Wood Trap Door, and then um, three by two. Iron trap door like that. And then we're going to skip a block and add in um, that pattern of stone pressure plate 2x5. It's only going to be on this side. The other side, similar, it just doesn't have that pressure plate thing. So just skip two blocks away. Two iron trap doors, 2x2. Uh, two two. Where did it even go? I don't even know. 2x2, two two, a dark oak wood trap door. And then 2x3 iron trap door. Alright, so next we're going to go to the corner and add a 2x3 of clay, 3 blocks tall, and then skip a block, add another one, and then let's add iron uh, door in the middle with cyan terracotta above it, and we're going to do this to like all four corners, just repeat the same exact thing, which is good in a way because you don't have to like come up with another thing for each side. 
and same thing right here. And here's the last corner, two by three, two by three, with iron door in the middle, and then cyan terracotta. All right. So once we've done that, um, let's go ahead and work on this uh, pattern right over here. So it's actually going to be flip the other direction on either side. So on this side, it's different from the other side. Um, so hmm, how are we going to do this? You know what? Let's add in the windows first that makes it much easier so we we'll take a black stained glass block go in the middle here two blocks long and then say terracotta two blocks and we're going to keep doing that pattern all the way to the other side and let's see how far this goes like so same thing over here and once we got these windows down, then it'll make it a lot easier to place in those um, the paint shop that it has. All right, almost there. So next, we're gonna take out um, light blue uh, concrete, and on this side, we're gonna skip three windows. So one, two, three. That pillar after the third window, add light blue. And then we're going to make sure that it is um, 12 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. Then uh, we'd go do the same thing on the other side, but over here instead. So this third window pillar, make it 12 long, light blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we're gonna take out Prismarine uh, Slab. Go right here, add two blocks in front of it. And behind it, we're gonna add six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side, but just reverse. So two blocks here, and then six, four, five, six, like that. I think I did it right, right? All right, so next we're gonna add in um, stone slab for the rest of the roof, like this all the way across. Just filling in that stone slab on the sides. Like so. Same thing on the other side. And over here as well. And I know I missed this one here. And then we're going to add uh, clay for the rest uh, on the top layer like so. All the way across in these holes. Same thing on the other side. And the last hole here. Alright, so for the layer underneath the windows, how are we going to do that? <laughs> We're gonna go, actually we need to add in this like purple thing here, so um, we're gonna go to the second window in half, let's add three of these blue terracotta. So this is the second window half of it, add three blues like that. Same thing on the other side. And then we need to add in um, dark oak wood stairs, and we're gonna add two in the front of it and four after it. So two in the front and then four after and then fill in the middle. Same thing on the other side. So two in the front, four after and fill in the middle. All right, so, all right then we're gonna add in prismarine stairs on the other side of that. So right over here, let's add six stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six like that and stone brick stairs for the rest all the way across same thing on the other side just at six one two three four five six and then stone brick stairs all the way across all right next we're going to go to the blue terracotta and we're going to add clay uh, five blocks after it in the middle so one two three four five and then we're going to take out uh, light blue wool and let's add four, so one, two, three, four. Add a clay block, 
and then we're going to add six light blue concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's the same thing on the other side. Right there after the blue, we're going to add five clays. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I believe it is light blue, which is four. One, two, three, four. Clay block and then light blue concrete. Six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the rest should just be clay across like so. Same thing over here, just fill in this hole. And the other side. <clears throat> like so. Cool. Alright, so next we're going to go to the bottom. Let's add in uh, two um, stone brick slabs like this. And then another brick slab. Uh, then four stone brick slabs, another brick slab, stone brick slab, another brick slab, and then stone brick slabs all the way across towards the other side. And the other side of this, it's actually the same thing, just reversed and flipped over. So right over here, um, two stone brick slabs, uh, another brick slab, four stone brick slabs, uh, another brick slab, stone brick slab, another brick slab, and then um, I believe it's just stone slabs all the way across for the rest. Like so. Alright. Alright, next we're going to add a dark oak wood uh, button right next to each of the iron doors on the inner part. Like this. And then I'm going to add a sign right above um, that last window closest to the edge. Let's add a stone button next to that. And do that same thing to all the other corners. You don't have to write anything there. Like so. And the last corner. Stone button. And there also is another stone button on this side. Diagonal to that uh, dark oak wood button. And next we're going to add a stone button on the other side, right there, diagonal to that, dark oak wood button. And then you would add another gangway and attach in uh, two more of these intermediate cars. And then the end car, which we already did. And um, basically to make the lower down um, pantograph, let's go over here. And I could show you what I did over here. So basically you'll destroy the, like, the, the raised up portion. And you could add in um, these two <laughs> stone brick slabs and then an upside down stone brick stairs. And then the rest of the pantograph, it just moves on like that. And there are skulls here that are just invisible because I worlded them in like that. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's pretty much it on how to build a Minecraft British Rail Class 802 uh, for the Trans Pennine Express in Minecraft. Thanks to Flaming Network 2190 for commission is built. And if you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.